Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today, and I'd like to take just a few minutes to talk with you about what I do to try and work on my intonation. Intonation is kind of a difficult subject for many musicians, uh, yours truly included. Um, some people are so naturally talented it comes to them, the rest of us have to build a skill, and skills of any sort require building and maintaining and even growth. I, I'm a big believer and there's no such thing as getting, as maintaining. It's either getting better or getting worse. So um, how you work on these skills are important to the final outcome. Now if you ask a lot of people how they work on their intonation, a lot of them will say, well, duh, tuners, what's wrong with you? And there's nothing wrong with tuners, they're a great tool. Um, the problem that I personally have with them is that they are visual feedback tools and intonation is never adjusted visually uh, in an ensemble. Most of us will use tuners and these are great apps. Most of you will know this Tonal Energy app, which even gives a cute little smile when you finally got it in tune. So lucky, so happy. I've been rewarded. Um, but yeah, intonation is always adjusted by listening. And this doesn't teach that as well as the alternative that I will suggest tuning against sounding reference pitches, a lot of people call these drones, including me. Now, what a drone is, is you just play a sound, and a lot of people will just play the sound, and they'll just dive right in, um, see where they are, and react. Again, you could probably learn something from that, but I like to make this into a predictive exercise, which, again, very much mirrors what's gonna happen in an ensemble if you expect to play successfully and fit in with all your colleagues. Um, I will play the tone. While the tone is playing, I will just close my eyes and think very, very carefully. Try and be creative and imagine exactly what I want to sound like. What kind of articulation do I want to use? What pitch level am I trying to, to sit at? Um, what volume? What tone color? What emotional content, if any? Any vibrato? Those sorts of things. And the more I can get towards just imagining the sound, the actual sound that I'm hearing, the better the results that I get. I'll demonstrate the process real quick. This is actually not an app, it's actually uh, something out of one of the MP3 stores. It was originally a CD, a compact disc, if any of you remember what that is. Now it's gone digital. Again, this is called the Tuning CD. I think it's great. There are others. Boot Camp is one. There's one of Cello Drones, which is beautiful. Um, the only real requirement is that it's accurate, and if you're practicing strictly pitch, it needs to get pretty loud because instrument sounds can overwhelm cell phones pretty quickly. Anyway, you might want to turn the volume down at this point. This is loud and a very annoying sound. Ready? I'm not kidding. Here we go. <laughs> Maybe I got a few of you. So it's sounding and now... successful. I entered a little higher than I intended. It was, again, just like if I was in an ensemble. Yep, mm -hmm, correct it, got it, good. Um, there are many ways to work with this. One of the advantages of this is if you sound this drone and play fourths and fifths, so this is a C, if I played a series of Fs and Gs against it, I'll turn, tune about a quarter of the notes on my instrument. These particular tracks are three minutes long, and if I do this for 9, 12 minutes, I'll cover most of the notes on my instrument. So I'll show you what you can do with this. And again, sorry if it's loud. quick spot check, what I'll usually do is a bunch of decrescendos, crescendos, try and maybe tone color, abrupt changes, just invent as many exercises as I can. This kind of work can get boring very quickly, and for me, someone who's kind of like a raccoon, desperately casting around for the next shiny thing to play with, 
um, playing these mental games helps keep me involved. So, and what is especially useful if you can try and get specific emotional contexts into your long tones or even plans of how you're going to move from note to note, that helps keep people involved. So, there are many ways to work with this. I think one of the big advantages, just to recap, is that this is, it teaches you to play and respond to pitch problems exactly the way you would in an ensemble, whereas a tuner does not train most people anywhere near as effectively to do that. It almost adds an extra step. Okay, play, listen, interpret visual feedback. Eh, eh. This is just play, wrong, fix, do it. So I do this every single day I practice. There's not a day where I don't do this. One of the things I've, one of the little bits of wisdom I've heard, which I found very useful is, it's better, one of the biggest mistakes is to do nothing because you can only do a little. If you do just a couple minutes of this on a few different pitches, I mean, you'll get all kinds of progress. Little changes, little improvements every single day will add up in big ways. If you make just, I think if the math was right, just like a 0.1% improvement in a skill every day, it'll come close to doubling your skill level over the course of a year. So, again, take what is useful, leave the rest. I hope this was helpful, and if it's not, well, I hope you enjoyed the glowing rock over my right shoulder. <laughs> take care and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.